One of the strange and seldom heard tales of the West was of the prison wagon. The tumbleweed, they called it, sent out from Fort Smith, Arkansas, to the vast plains of Texas and the deserts of the Arizona Territory, it rounded up the lawbreakers, the gunmen, and the killers. It drifted from place to place like the tumbleweed from which it was named. Like the tumbleweed, it collected things onto itself. Men like Link Ferris and Tioga, and delivered them to the most feared man of his time, the hanging judge, Isaac C. Parker. What do you want? Fifty. Thank you. It's good. What's your hurry? Judge Parker giving you a bonus for bringing him in fast? No, just for bringing him in. Well, you can slow down, Marshal, because I'm in no hurry. I'll just bet you ain't. Yeah, you just bet I ain't. I ain't either. There you are. This is Apache country, Ferris. The sooner through it, the better. All right, Judd. He let you live. I let him live once. Now we're even. How many braves do you have with him? Oh, Fifteen or twenty. Some of them with repeating rifles. Well, where do you suppose he got them? I don't know. Now he's got six more. Get me to Dragoon Well. Oh, now look here, Captain. I'm on my way to Stein's Peak, do some engine trading. I got my wagon stocked with goods. I'd waste three days taking you there. I can't afford it. I got business to attend. So have I. Now help me get these men in the wagon. I ain't putting no dead men in my wagon. Ain't room for one thing. Then we'll make room. if you don't sit down and behave. Mind your manners, Sonny. You'll live a lot longer. Sonny? You think you'll ever live long enough to get dry behind the ears, Tioga? Just about. Uh, you just better sit down anyway. Sure thing, Sonny. Anything to oblige. Let's go, Judd. Ah! Ah! Go. Hour, hour and a half. Who's he? Indian trader named Jonah McAdam. Ah! Oh. coming up behind us, Marshal. Something's coming. Nothing to worry about. Never did see an Apache war party riding in a stagecoach.
Apache. Not far away. We better move. We'll have to travel light and fast. I'll take orders from you, Captain. I'm Bill Haney, United States Marshal. Thank you, Marshal. Captain Matthew Ridden. Matt? Man. Where are you going at? Time waits for no man, Captain. Not even you. I said, where are you going? She's going back east with me. We're going to be married. Sorry. One thing I know for sure, Yellow Claw wouldn't go on the warpath alone. That means that Geronimo isn't far away. We've got to make a run for it to the fort at Dragoon Wells. I'll have to ask you to get back in the coach. In the coach, please. You too, miss. Call me Mara. Who are they? Tioga and Lake Ferris. I guess you've heard of them. Yes. Yes, I guess I have. Will you fight? Is there an alternative? No. I'll fight. Tioga? Might as well die with a gun. My hand is a rope around my neck. Turn him loose, Marshal. Do I have your word you won't try to get away? Would you believe I would? I think so. All right, then you got it. Tioga? Your wagon turned around, McAdam. We're heading back to the fort. Oh, now, look here, Captain. There's Apache on the warpath. Doesn't that bother you? <laughs> Got to take them home, Marshal. Our business is with the living, Captain. We better bury him here for now. I suppose you're right. But I'll be back for them. We'll bury him shallow because I'll be back for them. I need some help.
have to go on and join us, Maggie. Never mind that. But everything I own is in that luggage. I have nothing to wear. You won't need anything to wear, Anne, if you don't hurry. Captain's right, ma'am. We don't travel light. We ain't gonna make it. I would rather keep my hair with a trunk full of clothes. I don't blame you, ma'am. It's your crown and glory. You know something? If they don't hang you, I would like to sing for you. I'll be looking forward to it. You're very kind, Mr. Ferry. No, oh, indeed I am, ma'am. Indeed I am. So horses ain't quite dead yet, Captain. We'll have to leave the prison wagon, Haney. What? Why? Can't afford to haul anything that we don't need. But, Captain, that's the Marshal's bread and butter wagon. Well, whatever you say, Captain. Well, he's just beginning to feel like home. Jonah, hitch a couple of these horses to your wagon. Marshal, you, Link, Tioga, and the kid mount the others. The rest of us will ride the wagon. <laughs> out of here fast. <laughs> Sounds like we won't be lonesome. Uh, they're around all right. They won't attack. It's too close to dark. That's a mighty comforting thought, Captain. Not too comforting. They'll try to pick us off, but at least they won't attack. How can you be so sure? They don't like to die at night. They're afraid their souls would lose their way to the great spirit. Souls? They're devils. Maybe, maybe not. Bed down away from the wagon tonight, just in case they decide to use it as a target. Marshal, looks like a pretty good place over here near the Oaks. Let's take a look. May I see you ladies home? You may take me home, mi querido bandido, but only to the door. You need company, Captain? Nope. But it looks like we got it. If you get tired, come back and sit with me, huh? Comfortable? Oh, very. Sorry the accommodations aren't better. They'll get worse. <laughs> How do you explain a man like that, Marshal? Hmm? Oh, Ferris. Mm. Funny thing about him, came from back east somewhere. Heard tell he had everything a man could ask for. A good home, fine parents. He even went to college. Why'd he throw it all away? Who knows? Guess maybe some people just born heaven bound and some like him hell bent for sure. I guess so. What'd he do? You mean what didn't he do? Like? Well, he's got eight pretty little notches on that cold of his. Now, mind you, I ain't saying those eight skunks didn't need killing, because they did bad. Well, then why are you taking him to prison? 
Well, the last one they buried was a town marshal. I also ain't saying that marshal wasn't mighty mean and mighty drunk, too. He asked for it right down the line. So he's a gunfighter? Yeah. Gambling man, too. In other words, he's just plain no good. Oh, I wouldn't say that, ma'am. I wouldn't say that at all. What did they do to him? Judge Parker will hang him just as fast as he tries him. Does he know that? He knows it. Every gunfighter in the country knows the judge and what to expect of him. He acts as if he doesn't have a care in the world. Mm-hmm. man like that's got to have some good in him. He's got to have. Get some rest. Night, Marshal. <coughs> Judge. Scared me, Captain. See anything? Nope. But I can feel them. I can almost smell them. You better keep your eye on him, too. Tona? I could be wrong, but I don't trust him much. Just keep your eye on him. Don't you worry none, Captain. He makes one bad move, it's his last. Feel them slow this time, if you don't mind. Feel anything. Oh, shut up. You need sleep? You're getting irritable. What do you think? I think we better start praying. You know any prayers, Marshal? If I did, I'd use them on you. Deal the cards. Dave, you still got money? Just deal the cards. Slow. Get back to your post. I ain't going back there alone. I said get back to your post. Listen. Thank you. 
in the eye. Oh, please don't help me, please don't. Look, please, I got money, I'll give it to you. All of it. Don't show me that you're human. You're not human, you're miserable, no good pot belly beggar fat. No, no, please don't, don't. I'm gonna blow his head off. No. I'm gonna blow it clean off. Get the fat, please. Get up, please. Don't let me kill me. Allow me, Captain. Put that gun away. You're joking. He'll keep. He won't kill you. That's enough. Judd's dead. What? No! Tom! He killed Judd. The dirty Tom! He stabbed him in the back, right in the back. Just kill him, kill him! Stop it! Captain! Your intention to let this pig live? He'll live till he gets a trial, Link. He dies now. Don't do it. You want a trial? We'll have a trial. Presided over by Judge Colt. Like the captain says, we take him in for trial. Any other objections? Now that you put it like that, I can't think of a single one for now. All right, let's get the wagon. We'll take what supplies we can carry and move on. Yeah. Hey, look, Link, he's got a false bottom. Come on, Tom. Sorry, sir. Forget it. From now on, it's your responsibility. Link. Yeah. Winchester 4440. Yeah, Captain! Any more of them? About 25. You've been selling them rifles. No, no, Captain, I swear. That's part of a consignment to Fort Bowie. You're a liar. You sure you don't want to change your mind, Ridden? No, I'd like to. I'd really like to. But he's going to wait and think. We've got a chance now. These rifles will keep him at a distance. You got shells for these? Have you? Yeah. I guess he wasn't planning on being out long. This is all the food there is. Now you're going to get hungry, Jonah. Mighty hungry. Hey, whiskey! Just get him away from me. Opie! Go up and break down the horses. Water barrel's all right. What do you want? Nice day for a trip. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm real glad to hear that. Are you laughing at me? Oh, no, well, then what's the matter with you? Absolutely nothing. I'm your most ardent admirer. And just why is that? Because you're the first person I've ever met who's just as sinful as I am. Why, you... Time to get moving, ma'am. I'm ready, Marshal. Are you crazy? What's the matter? Why don't you feed the rest of our supplies to the coyotes and be done with it? What are you talking about? This! Have you ever been Thursday, Miss Bradley? Really, Thursday? No. Well, I have seen them die. And believe me, sister, there is not a pleasant sight. I just wanted to get clean. Clean? Before this trip is over, one drop of water will look my good to you. You mean trouble, Mara? Huh. I caught the princess taking a bath in our drinking water. I was not taking a bath. She's lying. I only used a little water to wash my hands and face. That water might keep somebody alive for another day. Maybe you. Would you like that? Yeah. I don't think you would look very pretty with your tongue swollen out of your head.
Yellow Claw. Take cover behind the wagon. Fire. I don't think they're going to attack. Got something else in mind. No more guns if he dies. Think well, Yellow Claw. Te walk, te kihau. Mazakawa, he not a tough. You boy. Thank you, Alain. Amen. You figure that's going to help him? Don't you? I don't know. Guess maybe it won't hit him. No, I don't think it will. Whatever he said goes for me, too. horses can last carrying a load like this. Could be the judge will have a long wait. He ain't going any place. He'll wait. Yeah, I guess so. I just don't want to irritate him. You did good. You call killing another human being good? If it's his life or mine, yes. Don't 
Don't take it so hard, Philip. They're only savages. Yeah, that's all. They're animals. Yeah. We kill off their food, steal their hunting grounds, rob them blind, murder them. What do you expect? A pat on the back? I guess we all have a little bit of savage in us. Don't you think so, Miss Bradley? You think they'll come back? No, they'll be afraid of these new guns. Besides, like the captain says, they don't want to take a chance on killing Jonah. They need them too much. They'll try to wear us down. Sneak in close at night and pick us off. How much further we got to go? Seneca Relay Station. That's 15, maybe 18 miles. If we make that, we can get word through to the garrison for help. We'll make it. You're awful sure, aren't you, Ferris? You want to bet? With you? Hmm. Everybody ready? All right, let's go. Pretty tuck it out. What do you think? We'll camp here in the draw for tonight. Have one on me. Oh, oh, you keep yours. I'll have one on the house. What's the matter? Spoil? Hey, Captain! Smell that. Where'd he come from? Jonah's water barrel. Jonah? This water barrel is full of whiskey. You're not only going to get hungry, Jonah, you're going to get mighty thirsty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Something, Princess? I don't think you want to take a bath tonight. Oh, leave me alone. Can you finish this, Anne? I'm not really hungry. Eat it, you'll need your strength. Such gallant men. You take your choice. Gallant man or a live one? Excuse me, Philip. Now, we can't help the way we are. Can't we? Can you change what you are? I know. You don't want to. Well, you don't have to. You have honesty, integrity. All the things that are set up as a standard, a goal, something to work for. You work for them, Matt. Build this country you love. 
Make it strong. But please, forgive me for trying to live my life the way I want to live it. And you think you found your way with Philip? Well, he's a very wealthy man. Very nice man, too. With him, I can have everything I want. I guess what I want is freedom. To do what I want, when I want to. That's a large order. Good luck. Give the captain a bad time again? Why don't you mind your own business for a change? <laughs> You've got the disposition of a sick Apache. Well, if you don't like my disposition, why don't you leave me alone? Maybe because you don't want me to, for one thing. You're crazy. Besides which, I never had the sense to run away from trouble. <laughs> and you'll hang for it, too. Nobody's gonna hang me, ever. I bet on it. You're pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? I never lost a bet in my life, for instance. For instance? <laughs> See, Captain? She's not worth grieving over. You're a dirty, rotten, yellow coward. He didn't hurt me. He was hitting you. What do you mean? Man's got to get the poison out of his system. He'll stop festering inside now. I can't drink any more of that stuff. No? Maybe just, just a little more I could. Try. That's better. Bottoms up. No. Bottoms up. Neat. I never could stand a sloppy drinker. They'll look pretty on you. Please! It's a present. No! They'll look pretty no, on you. No, let me go! I'll kill you. If you ever touch her again, I'll kill you. Stop it! It was a present. It's a present. I just want to give you the present. She doesn't want you near. Link, I wasn't going to hurt her. Tioga, so... you and Hopi Charlie take the watch. I don't want any more fighting amongst ourselves. We need every man we have. Next time, you might try looking a little deeper. What do you mean? Tayoga likes you. He was only trying to be nice. Nice? He's an animal. You're all animals! Yeah, sure, we're all animals.
Think they'll try it? Who knows? Sorry about the trouble you had. Well, trouble comes easy to a ugly man. You know, even when I was a kid, I used to try extra hard to be real nice and always do the right thing. It was no use. Into each face had come the same look. So I'd run away and hide. And then one day I saw that same look in my mother's face, so... I run away and I didn't go back. It didn't make any difference, though. It was the same anywhere else. You know, because I was ugly, they thought I was bad. Lord, tell me to move on. One day a marshal told me to move on and not come back. So I killed him. Well, now I got two choices. I can get butchered by yellow claw or hung by the law. It's no difference to me. You and I, I guess we were born for trouble, Tayoga. The only difference is you didn't ask for it, I did. Anyway, it doesn't much matter now, one way or the other. But you're not alone, Tayoga. You're not alone. Got my last cent. Yeah, I've always wanted to own a pair of those. How much? Ten dollars. I'll deal. I catch you cheating, I'll hang you myself. If you catch me, Marshal, I'll do it for you.
space station. Any you stay here with the others. Link. Ain't you afraid of me? What's your name? Susan. I'll take her. Give her to me. Give her to me. I found her in the cellar. Yeah, honey. Honey, look at me. Would you like to go away with us? No, I want my mother. What's your name, daughter? Susan. Where's my mother and my daddy? Susan, your mother and your daddy, they had to go away. With the Indians? Yes, sir. Mommy. No, Susan, no. Kind of look like Tioga, don't he? All right, Susan, we're ready to go now.
You mad at someone? How much? You had me worried for a second, Marshal. How much? Well, I like a man who doesn't know when to quit. Fifty dollars? Give me the money. And the cards. I'll deal. Matt, I didn't understand him. I just didn't understand him. There's a lot you don't understand, Ann.
Solid. What now? Nothing to do but go on. How far is the nearest water? Fort Buchanan. 50 miles. 50 miles. Now they've got us right where they want us. Hold up with no food and water. Captain, we still have one good horse. All right, gentlemen. Three hours, it'll be completely dark, and then high cart goes. And let you out. Oh, you're prejudiced, Marshal. You bet I am. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, gentlemen, should we try our luck? <laughs> Look. Nine of hearts. Four of diamonds. King of hearts. They stand. It. Like I told you, Marshal. It's funny, but whatever I do, I have to win. I just have to win. Yes, it's very funny. All right, Link, as soon as it gets dark, you'll go. Yes, sir. And somebody's going to have to take care of their lookout to give that horse a chance to get out of here. I'll take care of that. We'll cut for it. All right, Henny, we'll cut. Just the two of us. What about me? You ever try to bushwhack an Indian? No. I don't think now's the time for you to learn. After you, Marshal. Nine of spades. Would you care to cut for me, Link? Be a pleasure, Captain. Ten of diamonds. Testy? for kids. Drink it. My, he was thirsty, wasn't he? Wasn't he, though? Clean deck of cards. Found them in the officers' quarters. One more chance to get even? Yeah, there'd be another. Uh, loan me ten? Uh-uh. Why not? Never play against my own money. Never play against a clean deck either, do you? Tell you what, I'll give you a hundred dollars for that shiny star. What? Why not? You're not using it. Besides, I kind of like to see what it feels like to be a marshal. Hundred and fifty? Well, you took pretty good care of my gun. 125. I deal. Should it works? You in a hurry? And what do you think? Shoot the works. Right now, you can almost hear yourself think. My ears aren't quite that good. What are you thinking? You really want to know? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking how nice it would be to be loved by a man like you. You know what I'm thinking? No. Tell You're me. You're a very remarkable woman. That is all? And a very lovely one. You should leave today, Capitan. The men don't have many tomorrows left. And yesterday will never come back again. Well, 
What's the matter? She's getting awfully friendly with the Capitan, isn't she? Yes, I guess she is. I don't like her. You don't know what you want, do you? I guess maybe I haven't found it yet. Thanks for being honest. I'm sorry, Philip. I didn't mean that. I guess I'm just tired. No, Anne, it's more than that. You know as well as I do that we could never be happy together. I don't think you're capable of loving anyone but yourself. Thank you for being honest. Aren't you going a little over your head? What do you mean? Isn't it obvious? Don't force me, princess. Don't force me. You have been lucky so far. You tricked me, huh? Did I? Yes, you did. And I am very happy you did, Miss Fancy Breaches, because I have been waiting to mass you up for days. Ah! I'm gonna mess you up. Back to your post. Come on, Marshal. The ladies are disturbing a piece. You ain't going nowhere till you finish this hand. All right, let's see. Fives and jacks. Oh, that's too bad. Three ladies. has been reading the same books, huh? <laughs> Wait till I see you in Philadelphia. Will you please mind your own business? <sighs> yeah. Thanks. What are you laughing at? You. Why me? Why are you always starting things you can't finish? Oh, shut up. Temper, it's not worth it. You mean you're not worth it. You're no good. You're a thief and a murderer, and they're going to hang you. And I'm going to watch them hang you. Do you hear me? I'm going to watch them hang you. And then I'll laugh at you. I'll laugh at you. get through. How do I know you won't keep going? You don't. Thank you. 
thing, Marshal. I couldn't bear to break up such a beautiful friendship. Yes, it's Link. You're not going out there. All right, Captain. Glad you're alive. Near, come here. Tokyo, your pair of young picked up. That cool. Washichu, Chepa. There? Send John out here. He wants you to dismount. My pleasure. Jacese. Zedwa Hukto. Dana Ayushtao. From now on, I'll make the bargains, Captain Redden. And I'll live to hang all your scalps from the belt. <laughs> What'd you say to the chief? I asked him if he'd let the others go. And you heard John, huh? Put us right back where we started. You know, I'm gonna miss that, Jonah. I've been uh, thinking about what you said. That maybe you're right. But what? That we haven't many tomorrows left. But the ones that are left belong to me. They belong to you. Sure? Because, Captain, what is mine, it is mine for always. Here, let me do that. Oh, thanks. Ow. Have we got a chance? Yeah, there's always a chance. The odds aren't too bad. They're not too good, either. I've drawn inside straights all my life. And filled? Yeah, filled. There. Thanks very much. I'm sorry about what I said to you. 
That's all right. Nobody's hanged me yet. And if they don't hang you, what then? Yeah. It's a big country, lots of places to go, lots of people to meet. It's funny. You don't realize how big or how wonderful it is until something like this happens. Or how quick you forget when you get out of trouble. I won't forget. They've called in their scouts. I guess that means they're through playing around with us, huh? Just about. We haven't got a chance, have we, Ridden? None. You know, I sure would like to say goodbye to that Jonah. I hate the idea of anybody's scalp dangling from his belt. I know I feel linked, but I couldn't afford to let... Wait a minute. Hmm? Maybe you can say goodbye to Jonah. Dad, come up here. Do you see that gap between the two buttes? Yeah. Well, it's not much of a chance, but it's a chance. Yeah. Do you think you could lead him there? Is there an alternative? None that I can think of. Captain, if I can steal me a horse, they'll be there. Hey, Marshal, I'm gonna need my gun. Now, here's your star back. That didn't bring me much luck. You be careful. I got quite an investment in you. <laughs> you want to bet, Marshal? Get out of here. Susan! When we get to Buchanan, I'm going to buy you the prettiest dress for your doll that you ever saw. Diogo's not a girl. He's a man. You're right, honey. He was a man. He sure was. How much time do you need, Braden? Give me 30 minutes. Right. Good luck. Thanks. May I see your one, Diva? I think you're a fool. And I think you're a liar. Come back, huh? The whole Apache nation couldn't keep me away. Inchi, ee, what can come? Skang, we hung the corda. Kata, we hunky. Oi, hanky! We chunky water. Oi, hanky! We chunky water. Kusicha chinky api. Tawa pazuta so tashne. Tawa pazuta so tashne. What shit you? We chunky water. Kusicha chinky api. In Dakota, Wyoming, Han. Kata, white eyes. Kata, kata, white eyes. Kata, kata.
I'll take those guns now, Link. First time I ever lost a bet. Let's round up those horses. schedule? Yeah, looks like it. Well, anyway, it was fun while it lasted. You ready to ride? You say so? I say so. Ride! Like he says, he just has to win. Won't hurt Judge Parker to lose just this once. Uh, he's quite a man, Marshal. You are quite a man, Capitan. My man. Thank you, Marshal. If you will excuse me. Up to you, Mr. Ferris. Entirely up to you. 